Hi everyone. In this video, I am going to introduce two parameters like trans conductance and output conductance. So, what do you mean by trans conductance? Let us start with the first parameter that is trans conductance. Okay. So, let us first see what do you mean by trans conductance, how we can write the expression for the trans conductance. We know conductance is a reciprocal to the resistance. Conductance is nothing but reciprocal to the resistance. So, conductance is nothing but or inversely proportional to we can say 1 by resistance. Whatever the whatever may be the material or the circuit, the basic definition of the conductance is the reciprocal to the uh, resistance. Now, resistance we know resistance is equal to V by I. Okay, that means conductance we can say conductance is equal to I by V. So, this is the basic definition of the conductance. Now, what we are looking for trans conductance. Trans means some relation between output and input. So, trans means relation between output and input parameters output and input parameters. So, here trans is nothing but output current to the input voltage. So, trans conductance indicated by Gm is equal to delta I by delta V. Uh, uh, output current output current to the input voltage output current to the input voltage what is the output current output current is ideas what is the input voltage input voltage input voltage is nothing but vgs yet constant vds okay don't forget we are going to derive the expression for the transconductance gm which is equal to delta ids by delta vgs at constant vds so vds keeping the constant and remaining all parameters are variable there we are going to find out the expression for the transconductance so which is the ratio of output current to the input voltage we can say it is the ratio of the output current to the input voltage so we can say from the definition it is the ratio of output current to the input voltage output current to the input voltage okay and now let us see we know we know ids is equal to from the definition of this ids ids is equal to q by tau okay when we were deriving the drain to source current versus drain to source voltage ids versus vds there we have taken the first first definition as i is equal to q by tau q by t okay charge induced in the channel divided by electron transit time okay so now q by t see here what we need from the gm delta ids delta ids we need okay delta ids where the delta is going to be applied delta can be applied to both the parameters q by tau okay but q okay where Q is equal to, Q is nothing but charge induced in the channel is because of the gate capacitance and the applied voltage at the gate. Okay. So, what do you mean by delta Q? Delta Q is equal to C is constant and delta VGS because delta VGS is the, that is the variable input voltage. Okay. And tau. What about the tau? We know tau. 
tau is equal to L square by mu into VDS. Tau is equal to L square by mu into VDS. So, substitute these two parameters in this. Delta IDS is equal to delta IDS is equal to delta Q. See delta Q is this delta here. And Q is nothing but CG into VGS and by L square by mu into VDS. Okay, so now apply delta also. So delta IDS is equal to CG is constant. So CG into delta VGS divided by L square into mu into VDS, mu into VDS, delta cannot be applied to any of these parameters of the tau because all these parameters are constant. Of course, you may think that VDS is variable, but we have, we have started this uh, transconductance by assuming that VDS is equal to constant. Okay. So, this is this one. Now, take this delta VGS onto the left hand side. So, delta IDS by delta vgs which is the definition of gm is equal to cg mu vds by l square cg mu vds by l square this is the definition of the transconductance gm okay but we know the gate capacitance CG is equal to epsilon naught epsilon insulator WL by D. CG is equal to epsilon naught epsilon insulator W L W into L by D. Okay. So substitute this CG in this equation. Therefore, GM is equal to epsilon naught epsilon insulator. W L by D into in place of CG we have written and remaining parameters of mu VDS by L square that is equal to epsilon naught epsilon insulator by D into W by L W by L L, L gets cancelled and mu VDS mu into VDS see all these we have assumed it as something like this one also, something like beta. So, we can say simply Gm is equal to beta into Vds. But in saturation, all this derivation we have done in saturation. We have all these definition uh, derivations we have seen so far are in non-saturation. But in saturation, we know Vds is equal to Vgs minus Vt. Nothing more than that. At, least at saturation, Vds is equal to Vgs minus Vt. Therefore, Gm is equal to beta into Vgs minus Vt. Both are accepted. You can use either this formula or this formula. Both are okay. Okay. This is what the expression of the transconductance expression of the transconductance. Now coming to the second parameter which is nothing but trans conductance or normal output conductance. So another type of parameter which is output conductance. Output conductance. Output conductance is nothing but GDS. Output conductance is nothing but GDS. So GDS GDS output conductance GDS is equal to already we know the conductance definition. What is the definition of the conductance? It is the ratio of current to the voltage. It is the ratio of current to the voltage. This is the general definition of the conductance as it is the reciprocal of the resistance. Okay, I by V, V by I. So now which current and which voltage? Output conductance. So both the parameters belongs to both the parameters belong to output side. So, output current is nothing but IDS, input voltage is nothing but VDS, IDS by VDS. So, if you say delta, 
if you take delta this is the delta radius by delta vds that means the rate of change of current to the rate of change of voltage that gives the output conductance gds okay so we can we can write it as lambda into ids lambda into ids which is proportional to 1 by l square which is proportional to 1 by l square this it shows how strong dependence is there on the channel length that is going to be demonstrated in this formula that means lambda is proportional to 1 by l and ids is also proportional to 1 by l ids l ids is also proportional to 1 by l okay so here the strong dependence the strong dependence on the channel length the long uh, the strong dependence on the channel length is demonstrated above that shows uh, lambda is proportional to 1 by l and as well as ids is proportional to 1 by l okay that is the output conductance depending parameters okay these are the transconductance and output conductance of the mass transistors